Okay. Italian linen sheets and her, and her French silk, uh, whatever the hell these are, and uh, bathing herself in the world's most expensive perfume. What a woman! What an icon! What a lifestyle! Tell us what you think, right? How could Brian have stood me up? No, there is no standing up in the world of the rich and famous. I'm going to try him again. I'm working my tail off here trying to make you forget. I got dead. Hey, you are standing in Erica Kane's bedroom. My point is the lady of the manor is out of town. My brother, the old, is on call at the hospital saving lives for sport, and we are here alone. Are you making a pass at me? No. So what's the big freaking deal about being in this room alone? My date stood me up and my son burned her. Ooh, baby, this, this, is, comes from this is the chance for a lifetime, Greenlee. Don't you want to snoop through the drawers? I did it. It's fun. Do I look like a lunatic? My, my mother. When she gets depressed, she, she, uh, likes to squirt herself with this stuff. And poof, she's all better. That is if Eric actually uses this stuff she sells in enchantment. It smells like the real stuff. Yeah, it's real stuff, all right. I have some bucks and ounces or something. You know what? Mm -hmm. This is nice. I did it. Oh, these springs to talk. Huh. Don't get your knickers in a twist, Randy. Come on, you can tell your grandkids that you got to sit on Erica Kane's bed with me before I was famous. No wasting your time. I am not. You're in a much better mood than you were five minutes ago. Your time, Leo, not mine. Look, I know that your mother was a freak show and your life has been one long train wreck, but you are making a huge mistake. Are you going to listen to me? I don't have earplugs in my pocket, so I guess I have to. <laughs> You're chasing the wrong girl. You are like the queen of non sequiturs, you know that, Greenlee? Where did that come from? I'm the one spending time with you. I'm the one that sees how funny you are and how smart you are. And you're wasting all this time running after curly locks. If you twist the ring like a little too tight, if you know what I mean, it cuts off blood flow to the brain. Look, I know that you don't like that guy. He should bug you, but she is not dumb. No? <laughs> she fell for the most bogus ploy in the book tonight. What ploy? Remember that phone call that Becca got from Opal? Yeah, she had to go pick up Opal's kid. That's where our date got bumped. No. No, you didn't. My poor little Petey is just stranded. Becca, can you tell? <laughs> I don't look so wounded, Leo. I needed you alone. You know, so I can make Ryan jealous. Look, if 
ever there was a dog barking up the wrong tree, Greenlee, it's you. I resent that. Oh, come on. Ryan is so totally free from pretense. His picture should be in the dictionary for genuine. And you, you are like the most insincere person I've ever met in my life. Next to me. I mean, look at us, Greenlee. I'm lounging on my brother's girlfriend's bed. The media star, who, by the way, is currently acting as my meal ticket. And then there's my mother, who... Well, let's just gloss over that lovely little bedtime story, shall we? In my halfway decent mood tonight. How did it get so shallow? Years of training. I guess. What's the most shallow thing you ever did? Ever. Come on, Green, we did it together. You did? What? You mean when we messed around? No, I wouldn't have made the bet about me taking away Becca's virginity. Is that a qualified? Uh, yeah. yeah. But it never happened. Not yet. Yes. We are so awful. Who would want us? We are not pathetic. No, never. <laughs> like waifs, like uh, wandering waifs, like waify little orphan like waif creatures. <laughs> Why are we wandering? What are we looking for? I don't know. Oh, please. Love. I don't even know what love is. Not in any form. What were you going to say, Greenlee? Oh, that's good. 